All right, everybody out there watching, uh, here's where we stand going into this position round. Uh, your leader right now is Nick Hogan. Uh, he's at 28.57. Uh, second seed would be Ryan Kaufman, 28.34. Uh, they're bowling well off camera. Uh, third seed, Chad Nelson, 28.10. And the fourth seed, Will Matafee at 27.91. Those two also are well off camera. And then we've got Matt Payne, our five seed, 27.43, and William Jones at 27.26 in the sixth seed. Uh, those two you've been watching on 31 and 32. I put those there because that match obviously has some implications to the stepladder. Matt will need to uh, stay ahead of William by about 17, it looks like, uh, in order to um, so in other words, he's going to have to win the match with the 30 bonus in order to stay ahead of William um, in the step ladder. Also, those that could make it on 33 and 34, you've got Nick Heilman. Uh, he is your seven seed. He's at 26.99, so he's 44 back of the cut. And then you have Rob Clemens, who he's bowling against. Uh, I'm sorry, Rob's at 26.99, 44 back. Nick was at 27.15, so Nick is only about 25 back uh, from what the, uh, the cut would be to the top five at this point. Uh, from there, 10 seed uh, Nick Pluff and 11 seed Clark Polzer. Um, both of them would still have an outside chance, too. They're about 100 back, so they need a couple big games, but they're off camera as well. So really, the action right here is... Uh, Basically where you're seeing 31-32 and then 33-34. Those are the two matches that are really going to have any implication. It kind of seems like the top four are probably going to stay pretty solid where they're at. Um, I haven't checked the scores. We were a little, little tight today. Corby had to leave as soon as um, qualifying was over. Uh, there was a large turnout. We had some technical issues as well that slowed us down a bit. And so uh, nobody really to be on the mic, and I haven't had a chance to really look at much as it's been going on during these matches either, um, just because I've been taking care of a lot of the admin stuff. So um, I'm not sure where you know those other matches are in the top four, but they were pretty well solidified. So I think you're really looking at between uh, Payne, Jones, Heilman, and Clemens here. Um, and I'm going to switch over. We'll watch the end. Clements and uh, Heilman are going to finish out first. So it looks like Nick is definitely making a strong run here. Uh, it's a little blurry, it looks like, on the screen, but 185 in the eighth uh, with a spare up in the ninth. Um, Rob's going to max at 180, so Mix is, uh, or, uh, Nick is going to get the bonus pins for sure as well. Uh, it'll just be a matter of if he gets enough for score, add with those 30 bonus. But at 27.15 and being 28 back, I mean, he's he's got what should be 2 teen with uh, spare and count. With 30, he goes up 40. Uh, it would still matter then what the uh, Matafee and William Jones match finishes up at. So we'll keep it here and we'll see what uh, Rob finishes with here. Looks like it should be 170. Uh, oh, it's all done, I guess. Sorry, the TV's kind of in my way and it's delayed on the screen that I see. Uh, so Nick can get 235 with a 30 bonus would give him 65. So huge swing if he can carry the first one or two here. And that was not a very good shot. Not what he needed there. So 209, if he gets the two, uh, he'll have 211. So uh, 30 bonus onto that, he'd still get 41. Gonna get him to 56, 27, or uh, 29, 56. 
And now there is a, a three-bagger by William Jones over in the Jones Payne match as we're heading into the last two. Make that a four-bagger. Um, so that definitely looks like William is probably going to have enough to catch Payne. Let's, uh, yeah, 211 for Nick. So he's going to go 41 up. We'll watch William finish here. So he can max at 236. Payne is going to max at 194. So looks like William is uh, Yeah, he's got the match already lo locked up here, and uh, he kind of fortunate nine count didn't split, could have split, didn't split. Uh, so two thirteen max with a thirty bonus, he'll go up forty, and uh, you guys will have to just watch the rest here. I've got to do the admin of getting the rest of the scores. Uh, we'll get back to you with how we shake out.
All right, everybody. <clears throat> we are getting ready to get underway here with the stepladder. So the way things kind of shook out at the end of the position round, uh, Ryan Kaufman. What's that? You're good to go? Okay. Um, Ryan Kaufman moved his way up into the number one seed. Uh, so making his first uh, CBA match play, making his first CBA cut, and then uh, making his first CBA step ladder being the number one seed is a pretty good way to do it. So he's going to do no worse than second today. That's a pretty good day. Uh, second seed is Nick or Nicholas Hogan. Uh, third seed, Will Matafee. And then here we see uh, number four seed, Chad Nelson, going against number five seed, William Jones, in the first match of the step ladder. Uh, looks like Chad has uh, elected to have William start the match, so we are about to get underway. Uh, Nick Heilman, uh, we were on air talking about it. That 211 and the 30 bonus got him to within about 24, so he finished sixth just outside the number. Uh, Nick Pluff with a nice 245 and a bonus on top of that made a great charge uh, also in the last game, uh, but he did fall obviously about uh, 38 shy as well of making the number. Uh, from there, rounding out the top 20, uh, eighth place, Matt Payne. Ninth place, Clark Polzer. 10th, Pat Hovda. 11th, Sam Sylvester Jr. 12th, Rob Clements. 13th, Tom Jones. 14th, Thomas Cleveland. 15th, Katie Ann Sop Schrader. 16th, Will Morris. Also making his first CBA uh, cut. 17th, Phil Stellmaker. 18th, Andy Mills. 19th, Dan Goldstein. And 20th, Jonah Lee. Jonah Lee also made his first ever step ladder. I believe this was Jonah's uh, first ever CBA. And, and I'm going to need to get the qualifying sheets out because I, I don't remember his exact start. But it was rough. And he was minus 170. And then he went 299, 278 back to back. Uh, that got him to plus five to be well within the number and uh, make his first cut. But yeah, it was uh, that was a fun little story developing there. That was fun to watch. He had that uh, obviously front 11, uh, 299, and then he had the front nine of the game right after it uh, for the 278. So, anyways, that was uh, very cool to see. All right, we saw that split left by William in the first frame. And uh, solid strike by Chad here to start off his uh, first frame. Chad was kind of in the, in the bid all day. Uh, he led for a little while during qualifying, but never really dropped out of even uh, any concern of not being in the number, really. And uh, pins carried forward into match play. There wasn't a whole lot until the match play, really. And after the Rio, I'll... oh, and he trips a four. Very fortunate. After the Rio, I almost think, like, some of the people were able to find it better. Oh, live update or quick update from the uh, PBA Regional there in Bismarck, Mandan. Marshall Kent beating hometown favorite, well, our hometown favorite, uh, and CBA Hall of Famer Brady Stearns. Uh, in the finals, but what a great run by Brady. Um, this was a, a mega, yeah, a mega regional. Uh, it started Tuesday or Wednesday um, in uh, Moorhead. And then, uh, oh, hold on. Just realized I got to change cameras, sorry. Thanks, Sarah, for pointing that out. I'll go in here and stop the uh, the switcher from switching scenes there. All right. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, that mega regional, uh, Moorhead, it started, Sunset Lanes, and Brady had a really good showing there, uh, taking third. Uh, lost to Chris Prather in the uh, semifinals and then uh, Prather lost to EJ Tackett in the finals so not exactly a, a bad couple of bowlers I guess if you're, yeah, if you're gonna, lose to gonna find yourself losing Randy stop yelling at me Sarah already told me to move him back good golly everyone's gotta yell 
Uh, anyways, uh, today taking second uh, behind Marshall Ken. So, I guess three names yeah. <laughs> that you're gonna have have lost to throughout the bit. Uh, I guess those are three pretty good names. Right. Yeah, not too bad. I think uh, I'd take that weekend in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Uh, we were reading through some of this. I know. Thanks, Sarah. I, that exclamation mark at the end of his really kind of hurt my feelings there. But, um, yeah, I didn't see what William left there in the second because we were kind of talking about Brady's run at that regional. Did you see what what he had? No. Okay. Uh, but obviously, a rough start for William here. He's he's got to figure out something quick because Chad obviously has a pretty decent. Well, he tripped that four, but that's 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 still being in the hole. So, um, yeah, he's. He obviously has a pretty decent look, so. Well, there's a uh, little shaker seven. Like I said, he, he really had a obviously a feel for the pocket yeah. most of the day because he's, he's yeah. been in the hunt right. well, he, all day long. He led qualifying. But, he did finally take it back at the end, didn't he? Seven, That's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he might have lost it for a game He did, yeah. Late, well, and it went back and forth a yeah. couple different times um, and between a few different right. people even. But, again, today was kind of a, a hectic cluster for a while uh, on the admin side of things for us so uh, we were running around a little bit we had uh, a printer that um, cable had snapped off of inside the printer and we couldn't print and we're running to the front counter with a flash drive trying to print <laughs> it was yeah and, and, and all, yeah and all of that took so much time to do too and all right good shot chad um all that took so much time to do and, and even though we had you know 62 bowlers today oh uh, the pace still wasn't that bad it seemed like it, it moved along really well anyways we were just kind of behind the eight ball most of the day uh, from the get-go so I haven't had a really good chance at paying attention to a lot of what's transpired today and Corbett's not here he left early so he's usually the one that's bowled it and has some feedback about you know what it was like out there and that kind of thing and and how the leads went because he'd be watching it while he was bowling so let's see if william can figure something out here to, no yeah that and really unfortunate that the two pin yeah. falls yeah uh it takes the the convertib convertibility rate yeah that was pretty the good conversion rate i like convertibility <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes it uh, much harder to get. How about we say it that way? Degree of difficulty rolls <laughs> quite, yes. quite high. Yeah. Not that the two-pin makes it a given, but no. it makes it easier than this. Yeah. yeah. And you got to get a couple. Yeah, you got to get hit one to get three. Yeah, you're going to need to get a couple there for sure. Especially when you're down and your opponent's got, you know, a, a look. Thirty-seven watching now. Our number grew by twelve just when the start of the step ladder. People know when the excitement's coming. They know when it's time to tune in. Thirty-eight. Look at that. I just talked about it. Goes up one. You're going up exponentially right now. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and he doesn't have much of a better look on the other lane either. I mean, his. I, I don't know He's if it's him ball. right now. I, right. Ball. Right. I mean, that could very well be the deal. It's. It's. Uh, at this point, if you can't find a reaction, whether it's your nerves creating it right. or whether it's just a, a different look you feel you've got, you got to get something yeah. else in your hand that will react different to what you're yeah. doing. You know. Oh, 
Well, not spare. So he could be 61 in the fifth, and Chad could step up and uh, be, uh, you know, 129 in the fifth here. So, I mean, step this. on his throw pretty good here yeah. with a double. Yeah, Chad gets a couple, and it's about 70 pins early. William, thank you. Appreciate the words. Congrats on making the cut. I uh, There it is, that shaker seven that didn't go last time. He gets the five and the seven to go this time. Uh, in talking to Kate, uh, I didn't realize I, I, this might have been your first cut made, so i sorry I missed announcing that like I usually do. Um, but, yeah, great tournament. Thanks for bowling. <laughs> Jay, you're still working? Well, I'm not going to be mad if you're watching while you're working then because you were supposed to be off an hour ago. Oh, okay. We're flying up the ranks. <laughs> I don't know what that was for Chad. Unfortunately, where I'm standing, um, I don't have the best view to see what his reaction was, you know, on the last few shots there I don't know if he missed right I don't know if he gassed that one a little bit but I think it was I think it was a miss right because it didn't look like he gassed it he's, okay he's really petting the kitty pretty that's the most I've seen him pet the kitty for a long time yeah right yeah now. well in the pattern sucked. today it wasn't just me that last <laughs> uh you know 45 feet uh we use the PBA dragon a little softer ratio it's over two right well and usually a I'm a little more hard on the you know Kind of ratio bit, but you're right. More mills, yeah. um, but that, I'm sure that led into the him softening up yeah, a bit. Sure. You know, but yeah, being nice to it a lot more. Yeah. Normally we have a different view here. Now we're looking at Facebook. I can turn it back to the other view if you like the other view. That one. That's what I'm used to. Well, this president. He is the Mr. president. president so. I just like looking for the comments, but nobody's talking anyways. That's fine. I, yeah. I said there's nothing there. Four? Four. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, I lose track of count, too, when we do i got to flip back. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you yeah we dropped there. one as soon as you logged on oh, or sorry. came in. <laughs> that's my fault. CBA president came. Matt Payne steps in, and we lose viewers. I, the only reason I came over here is to say I'm not wrong in thinking that pair <laughs> sucks. <laughs> well, all right, good spare. Uh, I would... I think William agrees with you for sure right now because he definitely has a, a rough look. Thing, so he agrees with me too. Well, I don't even have to talk to him. Chad's clean with three strikes, four strikes, sorry, and uh, so I don't think he hates it. <laughs> no. He likes it better than William does. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So everything so far has pretty much been miss right, miss right, miss right, miss right. And then he pulled that one. And like you said, Dave, he, he probably should have had different ball, more ball right, more ball. Um, the misses right would have recovered a little more, yeah, and yep. he wouldn't have made that drastic of a move to, you know, like shut down angles, yeah. try to trap it like that, and, and pinch it in, and he's just basically getting close to running out of time. Well, we just got off that pair. He just had two fifty or 218, whatever it was on that pair with the same ball, so I can see why he wouldn't want to do it. But he probably should, you're right. Yeah. I'm just saying. Stop. I get the Stop mindset. The biggie, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop the All right. That's what, that's why people like your takes. <laughs> you deep dive. That's why I'm here, I guess. I just know by watching his reaction that that ball is not going to get him anywhere. For sure. Yeah. It's so easy to squeeze it in and touch. Yeah. It's also pretty easy, though, to kind of go on cruise control right now well, yeah, when you, you just know that you've got 50, 60 pins There's and fill frames. Yeah. yeah. And we all know Chad. He's That's probably what just, he's, doing. he's <laughs> you know, he wants to conserve energy. He's trying to strike. 
he's yeah. So they might be getting was, a little bit trickier I was on him. No more than going to say it. I said he's going to switch balls right here. I didn't know more. He went and grabbed it. Went yeah. and grabbed it. Yeah. The phase five. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I believe that was an old code red that he was that he's an old code a ruby. Was oh, that a ruby? He's okay. throwing a ruby. All right. I know it's pretty new for him. Well, that's I, really new. I just can't believe he's using something from this season. <laughs> this decade. <laughs> Man, who is this guy? That's a, code red, though. The, the, the ball doesn't have a Y or an I in it. I don't understand why he's, what he's... Yeah, doing. it looks like a pretty good ball change there. Of course, the first one with a new ball always goes flush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It likes to fool Jesus, you, yeah. tease you. Yeah. Try me again. God. I should have been throwing this one all day. Right. Leave shot, it in no. the bag. Oh, Chad. That is how I shot the 10 pin this morning. Well. I did that three times. Yeah, I mean, Williams got 187 max, yes. so it's. No. It's. I mean, it's uncharacteristic with Chad, but that's not life changing. Same ball. And the trap. I mean, now he's just even gained more speed and yeah. seems even more trapped. Yeah. But successful shutout averted in the uh, eighth inning. Ricky's playing that golf course where I play it. <laughs> I'd play it not on the short green stuff, but in the thick Bermuda. <laughs> oh, carry. Well, there's that. Hard, fast <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? I know I got my glasses on. I still can't read the screen. So, who's leading and what is it? Uh, this Clark gentleman. Oh, minus he golf you're yeah. talking. Yeah. So, minus 10. so two two guy. people were minus nine on day one, and minus eleven is leading the tournament yeah. today. You think that course changed a little bit as oh, yeah. the week went on here? They were talking uh, about it good ball change by Chad. Keep it in the bag, <laughs> right? And there it is, right? That's <laughs> started with the wrong ball. <laughs> Some of those pin placements were. Uh, Real yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We tucked this behind a tree, three bunkers. And oh, a... he's, I thought he was talking about my bowling balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those are pin weird. placements. Yeah. Jesus. I wouldn't put them there. I mean, I'm, 